Okay guys, well we made her home with the lumber and the stuff. CP's cutting me some angle iron. And we got our calf shelter in here that needs to be repaired from that ugly windstorm. So remember in the middle, I had that one pipe that was running straight up and down that was bent bad from the storm. It's right there. This is the replacement. I just pressed the ends. We cut that one out. Now we got a bottle jack in here to hold the roof line up. And we got to get this guy in place here, like a soul. So we got to lift it higher. Unless I fucked up when I cut and measured that, something is not right here because it's really goddamn long. Or our roof line is really sloped. I'll bring you guys back in a little bit. Alrighty guys, so we got this sucker in place. Uh, CP's just about got all the angle irons cut that we got to put in. Cut and drilled, I should say. Sorry, babe. Come on. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Yeah. Uh, I gotta, I'm gonna cut these off. Just because that's an area where the cow's gonna fucking, I don't need her scratching on that. I'm thinking I'm gonna cut them off. So before, this was our front wall. Now it's gonna be the back wall. So we got a weld angle iron in the bottom. In the middle and the top run a couple of two by sixes in same on here we'll need on the bottom middle top and there and then on the front wall we need to add an angle iron in the middle and over there and we're gonna close the front off also so yeah just with a whole bunch of Scrap metals is what we're gonna close this sucker off with and if you're curious as to how I build the shelters Here it is just a metal frame Then we weld flat bars in bolt your flat bars on the roof and we bolt uh, strapping into the flat bars Is all we do see there Makes it pretty easy. And then uh, for the side walls, I generally use angle irons. Anywho, she's coming along. Before you know it, we'll have her done. The building is a little bit wonky. Uh, if you look close, you can see on that end, like the building actually twisted in that windstorm. It's twisted like this. I'll get over here and you can see that it's not perfectly straight that's because the whole building shifted over in that windstorm and kind of twisted it a little bit but it still works to give you an idea of how much it's twisted that much So from top to bottom, she's out probably about three inches, four inches. Anyways, it's not the end of the world. It's not that big a deal. It still works. And uh, yeah, pitter patter, let's get at her. Talk to you all later. If I don't see you guys again today, we'll bring you back tomorrow. Alrighty guys, back from lunch, coffee, blah, blah, blah. Back wall's all done, all white, and front wall is all done, green with one white sheet. I don't bother putting trim on these, because the cows rub on the corners and everything else, and they'll just fuck it all the trim up anyways. A little bit of gap in the top edge right there, but... Big deal, a little bit of airflow ain't gonna hurt nothing.
but this is closed in good enough that uh, in those ugly stormy days the calves will have a spot to get the hell out of the elements right we got to cut a bar to go here so that the cows can't get in and then we we'll, should be good alrighty I'll let you go we'll bring you all back a little bit later trailers all strapped down so we can unhook it from the truck okay later guys alrighty guys so we got our calf shelter in place way out there where it's gonna go is where it is now and then I was in this calf cage catching cage and I was thinking like this is all really good but I wasn't sure about this snap right so then after talking to a couple of guys a couple of buddies we decided to put this in this right here just a piece of flat bar with a slot in it a lot easier and same right there So when you want to just hook it in like so, right? A lot quicker, a lot easier, done. Uh, so, and then you can just grab the chain, simple. But what are we doing? Yeah. We're going to catch a pig. <laughs> are you locking him in here? Or are you doing it in the morning? We could do it in the morning. Okay, well, this should be closed then, no? Well, I can close it back up. Because if he's in there by, he might dig out, I don't know. I don't know, he may. He wouldn't be able to lift it up. He won't be freaking happy, I can tell you that. No, he wouldn't be able to lift it up. Now, that's why I brought this, guys, so that when we do get a pig in here, the plan is to wire this onto there. On there now. Yeah, I think we will. So the bottom hooks in there like that. Just, you would think that we fucking built it designed specifically for hogs. That's a sign. That's a sign? <laughs> I'm allowed to have baby pigs. Not a fucking chance. Baby pigs will get out of here. But he won't. <laughs> they're my buddies. Uh, yeah, they're your buddies and I'm going to eat them. He's going to taste a hell of a lot better than he is to feed. <laughs> you little farts. And this one here, with all that frostbite on his, on his head there, like top of his head and around his ears, he's the first one to go. See that? I'm assuming that's frostbite. But it's just him. And on his no, hams, other there's other ones that have it a little bit, but not like that guy does. And then tomorrow, because he's getting put down tomorrow, he's going to freezer camp tomorrow. Um, we're going to lock these buggers in there. And I'm going to dig all this stuff on the outside out get rid of it i'd like to move the shelter but i can't right now it's not that i can't i don't want to move the shelter to a different location and then have to fill it in with snow and everything else so yeah so right now the shelter is going to stay where it is we're not moving it we just got to lock these guys in there with one of these panels and then I can dig all this outside stuff out because we get much more snow. They'll be crawling over top the panels. But so, yeah, that guy will tell us, give us a good idea of what the rest of these guys are weighing. There's one in there that's bigger. Yeah, there's one that's a little bigger, but. That's my girl. I don't think so, baby. I don't think so. You get to sleep here tonight. I'm I can. You in. I can get out of here. 
Uh, so, but anywho, I'm going to let you guys go for now. Tell me what you think of the repair, the fix addition on here. The snap is still on here to add for safety if you're bouncing and if it does happen for I can't see that ever coming off but for whatever reason it's on there screw you you fucking raven I haven't even killed the pig yet it's probably where'd he go after me yesterday. there he is oh yeah and by the way <laughs> we're up to five dead bastard deers out there so far only five now right yeah not you didn't get another one today no. and we have no idea why they're dying or what it is anyway i'm gonna let you guys go we'll bring you all back tomorrow look guys calf cage works for a pig cage how about that brought them across all the way from there to here didn't put them in the cradle but Hey, it works. Anyway, Wilbur is going to freezer camp, so we'll bring you guys all back after it's done. Later. Well, guys, cage worked awesome for uh, doing a hog. Four left. And then there he is. Pork chops and ham steaks. Sweet. Now these guys, I gotta trap them in the pen, tear down their cage outside, like lock them inside the building part, take down the penning on the outside, and scrape all that snow and manure build up on the outside. Get it the hell out of there. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Moving hogs. Friggin' hogmobile. If it had a floor, that's all we'd need. But we got their pen, all that manure, snow, ice pack that was outside here of their pen. We got all that. I was able to scrape it away pretty much 100%. I got a couple bucket loads from right at the doorway out of there. We threw a shitload of straw on the inside. CP's just bringing them over here. So you can see all the straw in there. They're gonna eat half of it probably. So yeah, we just gotta get them in here, open the gate, let them in. And then close this up here. We made this one panel bigger outside here too. So that should be handy. Little more room anyways. It's going to suck trying to push snow in here though. But whatever. We'll figure it out. Anyway. Fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. We'll talk to you all later.